alive, come alive, come alive, we're alive, we're alive, we're alive. I never knew. I never added it. Hello, Halifax. And all points beyond. How we doing today? Today is Thursday, April the 16th. Had to look at that just to make sure I knew what I was doing. Thursday, April the 16th. We got a big, big, long show for you today. Here is how long the show is. All the different. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting texts. All the different information that we've got for you today. We've got all the links. Oh, my goodness. I'm super popular this morning. This is live and in color. Oh, nothing important. Live and in color. We're doing this as we we're breaking this up as we go. Uh, a couple of announcements and some things that we're going to talk about today. Uh, we've got some book reviews. We've got some cool things going on. First and foremost, hey, check out our uh, featured library today. It's the Pequa Public Library in Pequa, Ohio. They're doing a really cool thing right now with a crowdsourced poem. It's pretty interesting. You can dig back through their archives and find that. The crowdsourced sourced a poem. Different people are adding different things to the poem. And uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Pequa is up in uh, on the northern area up on the lakes. And so give them a look-see. They're also doing some cool stuff with their archives, showing pictures of their old libraries. Uh, they've got a big, huge Victorian library uh, that's downtown. And then they've had some couple different small ones out and about in their uh, neighborhoods. And so check that out. It's super cool, super neat. Pequa, Ohio. Uh, yesterday we had our good buddies over in 100, West Virginia, which was really cool. They're doing some great things for their hospital and the frontline workers there. And uh, so check that out too. It's under uh, yesterday's post. And then tomorrow, I believe we're going across the pond over to England to Tenotes or Totenets, uh, Totenitz uh, Public Library in Totenitz, oh, uh, Lord, have mercy. Let me back up and try this again. Totenitz Public Library in Totenitz, England. And so they're doing some neat stuff. They've got some fantastic uh, stories, some online story times. Yesterday they read a, a Star Wars book and it made it made me want to watch Star Wars. I've never seen Star Wars, have no desire to watch Star Wars, but uh, it had, a, it was super neat um, because, you know, it's in a British accent and it's better than me doing what I do. So check that out every day at nine o'clock. We post those uh, feature libraries. We'll also post them in our post uh, for the daily uh, thing at noon. And so take, take a look at those and tell them we sent you, tell them we said hello um, and show them some love. As always, they're surviving on this stuff right now, too. So take a look. And we'll come back to England here in just a second. But until then, don't forget we had John Theo on Tuesday of this week. And so we've got the link in our post as well. We ended up having a lot, pretty long discussion about uh, writing in Southside, Virginia, and how the truth is always stranger than fiction and the difficulties of hearing great stories. Uh, and not just going home and writing them into books immediately. So take a look at that. John's a Halifax uh, resident. He's got a couple of businesses here in Halifax. So take a look at them. Speaking of businesses, guys, our local businesses are doing really well. They're out. They're about. They're thriving. Patronize them. Get out. Spend some money at them. The Busy Bean. So they're plenty. Bistro uh, 1888. Uh, molasses Grill. Badoos. All of them get out there, see those guys. They're doing curbside service. Uh, Mana downtown, our good buddy Brandon, who we miss dearly. Uh, Brandon's mom runs Mana, uh, so give them a shout out as well. Um, stop by, see them. If nothing else, it'll give you a chance to get out of the house and pick up some food and keep from having to eat your own food uh, day in and day out. We are starting to get to the point where. Cooking at home has lost its luster and it's time to get out and have some different stuff. So give those a, uh, a shout out and give those a look see. Uh, speaking also of Halifax County, our good buddy, uh, you may know him as Stevie Waltz. Uh, the rest of the world knows him as Adam Hangman Page. He is the uh, AEW tag team champion or part of the tag team championship team. He has written a children's book and he is debuting that 
uh, with a live reading tomorrow on Instagram uh, at two o'clock. And his Instagram handle is Hangman Adam Page. Now, we were going to have his, him come about this time, uh, but thanks to COVID-19, we don't get to have that. So we're going to do the next best thing on Instagram. Hangman Adam Page tomorrow at 2 o'clock. He's going to read his children's book. It's really cute. It's really fun. Uh, it's part of a series that some of the wrestlers over at AEW have written. And so give those a look-see uh, and enjoy that. It should be a lot of fun. Uh and so you guys probably know him as Stevie, as the, the teacher, the art teacher, uh, and Stevie Waltz. Uh, his mom teaches in, in the system as well. So give them a look. Give them a shout out. Tell them we said hello. Um, and tomorrow at 2 o'clock, we'll say this again, tomorrow, Friday, 2 o'clock, Hangman Adam Page reading his children's book. It's really, really good. Take a look at that. It's on Instagram, at Hangman Adam Page. Yeah, at Hangman Adam Page. Uh, today's feature website is really, <laughs> it's pretty, I, before we clicked over, I was watching it. Um, it is Abbey Road. Some of you who are Beatles fans are familiar with the Adam, Abbey Road record. It's one of the groundbreaking records of all time, most groundbreaking records of all time. And so uh, the cover is uh, amazing. Uh, it's iconic. It's been duplicated and tried to be replicated many times, um, but never quite mastered. And so there's a live cam of the street that they are crossing uh, in the Abbey Road record, uh, on the Abbey Road record cover. And it's really pretty interesting. You see people walking down the street doing things just like in, in South Boston or Halifax. Um, uh, this morning about watched a guy run over a lady what paying attention uh, guy on a motorcycle checking out a chick as she she walked by uh, so it's pretty interesting it's pretty fun it's pretty mesmerizing yesterday we had a tropical fish aquarium today we have the Abbey Road crossing it's really actually pretty fun to watch so take a look at that uh, it's it's worth five minutes of your day uh, what else are you doing so why not? Give it a shot. Give it a see. Tell us what you think. Make us a comment if you want. Also, that comes from our new arrivals page, which is serving as our information hub. We've got all kinds of different uh, links and resources on the new arrivals page off of our homepage. Uh, so that's the new arrivals off our homepage. We have COVID-19 resources. We have uh, homeschooling resources. We have webcams. We have all kinds of different resources, so check that out. That's halifaxlibrary.org, and then new arrivals. And then also on there, you'll find, and you'll find this on our Facebook pages as well, or our social media pages as well, the Helping Halifax Project that we've got going on, uh, trying to link people who need help with people who can help. So Helping Halifax, we've got that link that shows up every day in our social media. We've got our Memoirs Project. Uh, believe it or not, my hometown of Kingsport actually caught this and they're doing it as well. So we're trying to record history now. This is historic. We know this. We understand this. This is going to be something that 50, 100, 150 years from now, 200 years from now, people are going to be questioning and talking about this. And so we want to make a, histor a historical record of that now so that we uh, can help the people in the future understand what's going on and how this has affected our lives today. So be a part of history now. Write us a memoir project uh, entry. We've got a couple of entries pretty uh, so far, and they've both been very interesting. So give those a shout out. Give those a try. Um, it's a good writing project. It's a good way to kind of record your thoughts about all this and um record that for history. We'll keep it in our local history room, but I will also add that to our catalog. We also have temporary library cards going on right now. Please use those uh, for all of the resources that you might need. Um, anyway, uh, try those out and see. Uh, we've got those assigned by last names. Uh, we have our job center. If you're looking for jobs, we have some resources. We featured yesterday the Ferguson uh, Career Center uh, with the passwords and all that information. We have some videos and some links to some resume help as well. So if you're looking for a job in this difficult time, give those a look-see and see what you And we also have Reader's Advisory. We're going to talk a little bit more about Reader's Advisory here in just a second, but we have our Reader's Advisory Hub linked in our social media as well. If you're struggling with what to read next, 
there's a good chance. Now, speaking of, what to read next? I finished this bad boy uh, on Monday or Tuesday of this week, and it is fantastic. It is Like Lions. It's the second installment in Brian Panowitz's uh, Bull Mountain Trilogy. There's actually four books, but there's kind of like a little uh, .5 book as well. Uh, the original, the first book is called Bull Mountain by, by, by Brian Panowitz. Uh, then you've got Like Lions, which is this one. And then you've got, you'll have Cash Hard Cash Valley which comes out in 2020. It'll be coming out uh, later in the spring. And then there's also Broken King, which is the little 0.5 vignette uh, book. But these books are fantastic. I'll read you this quote that's what sold me on it um, because it lists at least one of my top four uh, favorite authors. If Elmore Leonard, um, actually it mentions two of my top four. If Elmore Leonard and Flannery O'Connor had a love child who grew up reading William Faulkner, top four, uh, Pulp Fiction, and, Sha and a Shakespearean tragedy or two, he'd write like Brian Panowitz. You're in for a hell of a ride. So check these out. We'll ha we have all of these books, um, and we'll get the last installment uh, as soon as we can. Um, but we've got these in the library when we open back up. Take a look at them. You can find them online as well. Kindle, uh, resources, Amazon, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm sure you can find an electronic copy of it, but they're fantastic. They're really, they're fast paced. They've got some fantastic characters, very realistic. Um, and they're very plot driven. Uh, right now my attention span is about that long. And so if it's not holding a good plot and it gets bogged down in characters, thoughts and processes and all this stuff, I'm done with it. I got my thought process and my, my attention span is so short. So if you've got that short attention span, uh, these books would be fantastic to keep you to keep you going. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything else about it, but I almost I, I will say I almost threw this not in disgust, but it just in, it, it, it hurt. It hurt to finish this one. Uh, they're fantastic uh, slump brokers. If you're uh, in a reading slump and you need something to get you out of a reading slump, these these books will do it. Uh, they're they're bittersweet, though, in the fact that uh, you don't it's hard to come up with something afterwards after you've read these. So uh, keep, keep those in mind. Brian Panowitz bull mountain trilogy. There's actually four books now. Uh, he's a fantastic writer. Uh, I, the way I look at them is if you've watched the series justified, uh, you've got Raylan Gibbons doing his thing over on, on the legal side of the law and you've got different families doing, I see these people as the, the other side of, of the uh, justified coin. So it's just gritty, dirty. Uh, it's just good, good stuff. Brian Panowitz, check, take a look at them. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to debut something. Uh, as you can tell, I have been going around finding old clothes that are in my mom's house, uh, things that I have not worn in a long time. Uh, it's a little chilly in here today, so I've got a jean jacket on that I've had forever, um, as you can tell. But tomorrow we are going to debut a segment we're going to call Fancy Friday, and it's interactive. We want you guys to take a picture of you dressed up in your finest duds, your Sunday best, your Sunday suits, and post those in our social media. Fancy Fridays uh, will do every day or every Friday from now until we're open again and maybe even uh, maybe even after the staff will dress up on fancy Friday. But uh, so we want you guys to take pictures of, and get out and enjoy uh, being dressed up. We all have probably worn sweatpants way too much. We've all probably, those of us staying at having to stay at home uh, have probably gotten used to wearing uh, next to, nothing in the in the sense of being formal and so give those a shot tomorrow fancy fridays we'll do that every day this week or every day every friday from here on out uh book discussions we've got a couple of uh things in our reading readers advisory hub that we're going to put out as book discussions uh and open those up we're going to create an album on facebook that'll go live this afternoon please fill those uh if you get in into one of the books that we've mentioned um Join the discussion. 
join the discussion. We're going to work on too, uh, trying to get some interactive discussions through Facebook Messenger. Uh, we're trying that out and we're going to try Zoom out as well just to see what happens there. But uh, interact with us on this, on social media, interact on those things. Um, we, we would love to hear from you guys. We um, are, are needing responses from you, the people, the people of Halifax County, the public. Please, please, oh, please respond. Make comments, like, share. Um, let us know that you're out there and that you're paying attention to what's going on and seeing what we're doing. And tell us what we can do to reach you better or reach you or reach more people. Uh, and then our question of the day before we get to our poem. The question of the day is Halifax County suddenly gets a, a sports team, a professional sports team of some kind. It can be the highest level, the lowest level in minor league system, whatever. We get a sports team. Suddenly Halifax gets a sports team. What is the net? What sport? And what is the nickname of the team? Uh, we'll see what you guys come up with that. We'll put that on our Facebook page and let you guys, Facebook and Instagram, and let you guys uh, respond as well. And then today, our poem, I realized yesterday we didn't read our poem from yesterday, but that's okay. Uh, it was from our poet laureate here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Today, we're going to read from the poet laureate of North Carolina. Uh, her name is Jackie Shelton Green. And her poem is Wishing, Wishing by Jackie Shelton Green. Uh, we're also going to link a, another reading of hers on our Facebook page as well, Facebook and Instagram. So here we go. Wishing Jackie Shelton Green. Razor blades did not slash rainbows. Hands did not steal light from the dawn. Prayers spoken in tongues did not dissolve into silk pocket linings. Air could be bartered for fire. War could reinvent itself as a prayer for silence. Again, that's Wishing by Jackie Shelton Green. It's National Poetry Month, so we thought we would read poems every day uh, until the end of the month and maybe into the future as well. So there's Wishing by Jackie Shelton Green. Guys, it's been, we're actually running a little long today, and uh, we've got a lot of it. We had, we've had we covered a lot of different stuff. All the links will be in the Facebook post and the Instagram post. Please like, share, and comment on them. We are surviving on like, shares, and comments right now. It takes five seconds to like and share something. So please do that. Please, 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 please be safe. Please be washing your hands. Please do social distancing if you have to get out. Uh, if you're going to the store, wear a mask. We need you guys when they come back. We want to see you. We love you. We miss you guys. Uh, and our, our loyal patrons, we, we, we are ready to see you guys again. Um, so please, please stay safe. Please stay happy. Uh, love the folks that you're with. It's harder and harder. I understand by the day. But we'll get through this. We're on the downhill slide as far as everything I've read. And so we don't have too much longer and then we'll be back to our normal, regularly scheduled days. But until then, we'll be here again at noon <laughs> every day. God help us. Uh, we'll be here every day at noon. Don't forget our featured library post, Brian Panowitz, uh, John Theo, our author uh, of the week, uh, Adam Hangman Page tomorrow at two o'clock. Don't forget all of our resources, all of our links, and we'll see you guys tomorrow again at noon.